predicted maybe some issue i am not sure about it but okay, give it a try but if you guys if you want to write comments with if you want to write uh, mathematical contents inside uh, long comments like these like the uh, multi line comments and see like that it works just try it out if you guys want it that's it that is for instance uh, for instance pi is hmm, let's see uh, pi is pi okay now if i were to compile this check this region over here you see this part you see this pi option over here it came out to be perfect now this is possible because of this mathscape option if you are able to write mathematical symbols inside your code you know in a manner but the thing the only thing is if you want to write that you have it has to be enclosed in a comment a multi line comment for instance if i were to write in a single line comment i haven't tried this out but hopefully this should work um let's see the let's see now okay it works it works suppose if you were to write it somewhere inside the file does it work does it work okay it doesn't here see here it doesn't work because it's not a it's not a proper uh, space it's not a uh, comment so it doesn't work but if you were to write this in comments inside comments uh, mathematical symbols they'll work fine okay next is line number uh, this line number is used for giving the line numbers over here so that's fine okay and then next is number separation five point it, what it just says it just tells you to give, set the number separate spacing between number separation in pixels between the number and the content that's about it gobble 2 is used for uh, is used for consuming the space from the right okay 2 means it just consumes two character spaces from the right so if i were to write gobble to be 0 let's say gobble to be 0 watch you see the, you see some extra spacing over here that's because i have set gobble to be 0 suppose if i set gobble to be uh, let's say 10 what well, check this out Uh, sorry, I guess I have to press enter again. You see this? A large part of the code gets gobbled up or eaten up from the right end, from the left ends. Okay, so that's what gobble is used for. It's used for controlling some extra spaces if you want. I just set this to zero, not a problem. And if I were to compile this, fine. Now, this is a very cool feature because. Uh, it's a very cool feature this minted option because you are able to write your code just like that very easily and you don't have much of a trouble and it becomes quite natural you don't have to go and set all the parameters on the top you just write just one line of contents over here and that's it simple as that it's much it's much simpler and also this line frame equals lines is used for putting the lines on the top and the bottom and frames ep 2 mm is used for giving a uh, 2 mm spacing suppose uh, between the line and the top i guess suppose if you had to set this to say 10 mm and compile this again you see the spacing now this spacing is a 10 mm now if i were to set this to zero if i were to set this to zero and compile this again there's hardly, you see, there's hardly any space. It's kind of like budged together. So it doesn't look that good. So let, let's say we'll just go with 2 mm. That, I guess, that's what we did. We kept by default. So hopefully, and yeah, no, that's better. See, that's about it. Now, this way, you have an option to write your code in a nice formatted manner with ease. Nice formatted manner with ease. Now, this is fine. If I have a code snippet, I can just write it in put this big in the uh, minted environment and put this in, in environment and then let's copy this okay and one more thing is here this is the this is important over here this command here here just uh, within these brackets you just have to mention the c program for instance if you set this to uh, say python if you set this to python the coloring will coloring will have some errors see this if we set this to if we set that to python see what happens over here it's, it's a big mess because in Python, int and float and return are, uh, return are, what do I say, keywords. Whereas, double, 
uh, even double is not a proper keyword whereas printf scanf these are all some these are all not a proper keyword so the syntax coloring is gone and as a reason since the since in python these two are not these are not comments in these symbols that do not stand for comments that uh, mathematical uh, the mathematical symbol uh, uh, symbols uh, that we used using the math math scheme they just go out of scope they don't work so what's necessary is you just have to mention the program over here so that uh, so that the C compile, so that the tech compiler knows what's going on. Now I think the, uh, this one is case insensitive. I suppose, yeah. Even if you put a C or if you put a small C, it doesn't matter. If you just write the program name and uh, up, uppercase or lowercase, I don't think it's matter. But anyway, go with the lowercase. Mostly go with the lowercase, based on my understanding, because the extensions are also in lower and lowercase most of the time. So go about with that, and I guess that will not be a big problem go about with it now this way you have an option to write code snippets in with coloring and this is reasonably to look at now next thing is what if i just wanted to import a code snippets um, that is again possible and for that you have another option called as uh, input minted now what i'm going to do i'm just going to open this file and i'm going to open this uh, in gedit okay uh, if you see uh, I'm go I'm, I've opened this code call file called as ODs underscore sol one dot py, which is actually this entire file over here, which just has about 50 lines of code. 50 lines of code. Okay. Now, what I've done is that I've returned this line inside begin listing, inside begin listing and end listing. And uh, instead of begin, uh, big instead of the minted environment, I've just given this command input uh, backslash input minted. And in this option, uh, here I given all the options which are given on the top such as matchscape, line number, first line, last line, number separation, gobble, frame lines and frame separation and all. The thing to be noted is that uh, while all these symbols are similar, I'll just tell about these two uh, arguments. First line stands for the uh, first line of the document that has to be start from where you have to start uh, exporting the code. Last line stands for the last line of the document from where you have to export. For instance, uh, if you look at the ODE solve, the fourth line is the space over here, space over here. So from here on, it will start printing and the last line is 10. So from here to here, it will print. So if I were to zoom, I have to go, go down below, the fourth, the fourth line is this blank line. So if you don't believe me, I just put a minus sign over here. Okay, or else I just put a tag and say blank. Okay, and now if I run this, okay, hmm, I think did I say okay, fine, uh, okay, this is in a different file. Di I think this is in a different folder. That's the reason. I think this is in a different folder. So where do I, where is that? Um, where is that? Uh, reports, reports template. I guess it's in reports template. No. Wait, I guess it's in. I mean, that's a little uh, that's a little embarrassing. I just forgot where the place is. Yeah, this is the one. Uh, if I open this with open edit, I'll just close this and this one is. Yeah, if I had to just type blank and save this and check this out. You see this part? It's starting out over here. So it just takes up to from fourth line. This command takes the uh, com uh, takes the uh, command lines from the fourth till ten. Okay, this way, if you want to, uh, you know, break a code and explain step by step or just few step by steps, what you can do is just use this command uh, several times and just change the line number and that's it. And this command takes a few arguments. The first is actually the optional arguments like matchscape, frame separation, frame lines, gobble, so on and so forth as we did last time. And then the program name. I mean, not the program name, the, pro the type of the program, the program lang programming language. So I will write in here as Python. So this is actually a Python course I'm writing as a Python. And the next is the source code from where the file has to be uh, imported from that is important and once you do it and re and enclosed and once you do it this option this part is ready and afterwards if you write a caption 
and that caption turns out to be well. Now, one more thing.